Welcome to Wild and Composed, Ant video number 11, Mite Removal from Campanotis Modoc Queen. A little while ago, I caught a Campanotis Modoc Queen, and upon closer examination, noticed that she was covered in blood-sucking mites. They're the red ones. You can see one on one of her legs there. Because this is not good for their health, uh, we needed to do something. So first I soaked a couple of paper towels with a high concentration vinegar. Then I got a cardboard card and put an elastic around there. I secured her underneath and proceeded to pick off some of these mites, the ones that I could see. I was using a magnifying glass to see them and was able to pick up some, but not all, so I had to use a different tool. Basically, I had a toothpick with some scotch tape on it and also another larger stick with scotch tape on it and just did a brushing motion and was able to dislodge a lot of these mites. I think the fumes from the vinegar helped it was a long, tedious process, and so this is sped up. There's one walking away. I don't think they really like it there because of the vinegar. Some people use formic acid, but uh, for me, I found that the vinegar seemed to work well. So overall, the process probably took about 15 minutes. And now I'm just doing a quick check to see if I got everything. She also had a part of wing still stuck to her and uh, I thought okay I'll just clean her up on that and I took that one off for her as well I felt really bad for keeping her there in that position but I had to just make sure that yes we've gotten everything as well as we could I didn't want to subject her to more of this So, I don't see any mites. There's some white dots on her, probably particles from the paper towel or whatever. But they didn't look mite-like, so I just ignored them. Now, she had brood in the jar that she was living in. And so I had to actually remove each and every one of them and put them into her new test tube enclosure. And then put her into the new test tube. There we go, in her new home. And let's take another look, a final look, and she looks pretty well mite-free. I'm sure there are other methods of removing mites, but um, what I was told is that this is probably the most effective and less damaging to the ant. So she looks pretty clean. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more updates. Hit the like button if you want and leave comments too.